cloud cover. Uh, mid and high level cloud cover has been across the southeast pretty much all day long. Uh, it looks like it's going to be sitting there. It may kind of thin out over the next few hours, but overall we are looking at a mostly cloudy afternoon and even evening as we go into the uh, Friday evening time period. Otherwise, point off to the north and west, we are looking at mostly sunny skies. Some cloud cover still lingering across the northern portion of the state where we're still seeing a little bit of light flurry action up towards the Towski Valley, up towards Durango, and uh, even in to Pagosa Springs all due to that last storm system that moved through early this morning. Our next winter storm now moving through the Great Basin and it's going to quickly move into portions of the state as we go into Saturday and then quickly exit as we go into our Sunday time frame. So we do have those winter storm watches that kick in at 5 a.m. tomorrow morning, lasting until 5 a.m. on Sunday morning, mainly uh, for the eastern slopes of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains and the northeastern portion of the state, but including Quay County. So we're looking at anywhere between four to 10 inches of snowfall. So again, that is going to create some pretty icy travel, difficult travel, especially if you are heading, say, eastbound along Interstate 40 out towards the Texas state line. Now, heading out the door right now, not looking at any wintry conditions. In fact, it's turning out to be a pretty nice afternoon. Albuquerque, though, fairly chilly outside, 39 degrees after an overnight low of 24, believe it or not. Uh, Farmington, we're just above that freezing mark. Santa Rosa at 47. Tucum carry you're back in the low 50s right now. We have 45 degrees up in Ruidoso with the low to mid 50s anywhere from Deming, Deming to even Las Cruces. And on top of that, still dealing with some of those very gusty winds across the Northeast Highlands, Las Vegas, Santa Rosa, Tucum carry They've seen those winds clocking in anywhere between 31 and 35 miles per hour. So for the rest of the day, that snow will continue to taper off across the northern mountains and across southwest Colorado will eventually become mostly sunny. Otherwise, we're looking at a lot of sunshine elsewhere. It'll be a rather chilly day, also a breezy day, especially along and east of that central mountain chain. And then those winds should be dying down slightly as we go into uh, the sunset hour. 61 degrees in Roswell today, breezy tomorrow with a 40% chance for a rain snow mix on Sunday. Windy conditions and turning much colder with highs only in the 40s. Silver City, not a bad day today, a high of 46. Deming, we're back in the 50s, along with Las Cruces hitting 55. Durango, 32 degrees, mostly cloudy for you. But in Farmington, we will see those highs jumping to around 40 degrees and then kind of cool, uh, cooling off into the mid-20s by tomorrow and then more snow on the way as we go into our Saturday. Los Alamos, 37 degrees. Santa Fe at 41. We are looking at mostly sunny skies. Colder air moving in for Saturday with a high of 39. We have a 70% chance for some of those on and off scattered snow showers. Raton, we're at 40. Six today, Roy Clayton and even Tucum carry back in the 50s with windy conditions and in the East Mountains will hover in those upper 30s in Sandia Park and Cedar Crest. Edgewood topping out near 41 today. Berlin, Los Lunas, Bosque Farms all around 52 this afternoon. Bernalillo and Corrales downtown in the upper 40s. Rio Rancho hitting 47 will drop down to 28 tonight. A 50% chance for some of those scattered snow showers on Saturday, a 60% on uh, here in Albuquerque. Notice much cooler. Uh, daytime highs in the mid 40s overnight lows will drop down into the low 20s by Monday but we're back to sunshine 